surface area first. Notice something. Please go to your formula sheet, either in your packet or someone something that you have already off to the side. Anybody, anybody locate the surface area of a sphere? It's in your packet if you need a reference sheet. Anybody find it? Anybody find it? Of course you can't find it because it's not on there. All right, it's not given. So this is something you may want to mark. Hey, I need to remember this one. It's pretty easy to remember. It's got pi r squared in it, which is the area of a what? Circle, a sphere, circle, right? That's a cross section of it. But now we're just going to put 4 pi r squared. 4 pi r squared, so four circles. Think about it that way, four circles. I'm not too sure where that comes from. I'd like to know if I had more time, but that's four pi r squared. All right. Okay, let's find a couple surface areas here. So this first uh, sphere, surface area four pi r squared. This is what's great about this surface area formula. What's the only value you need to plug in? Radius. You got to find the radius. If you know the radius, you know the surface area. All right. So quickly here, radius for this one. Let's start off by hearing from number three. Radius of this one. 14, so 4 pi, 14 squared. And according to the directions, we're going to round everything to the nearest tenth. When you're ready, nearest tenth, let's go 24. Point zero. Uh, be careful today. Be on your toes. What did we just find in the sphere? Surface area. So I'm not going to put inches cubed, but inches squared. Be careful today because we are going to go back and forth from volume and surface area. And again, surface area, everything on the outside of the sphere. All right, how about number two now? Find the surface area, 4 pi r squared again. How about my radius now? Here you go, seven, let's hear from seven for radius now. Three and a half squared. Eleven when you're ready. Okay, I, look, you guys are honors kids. You guys can plug and chug, no big deal. But what happens if you, I don't come out and give you what you need? Circumference is 20 pi. What's the surface area? You guys just belted out to me. What is the only value I need to plug in for the surface area formula? Radius. So somehow you need to help me, knowing their circumference, get the radius. Because that's the only value I need. You have the radius, you got the surface area. So going back to the couple of units ago, anybody remember the circumference formula? Pi D, yep. Does it have radius in it? No, but it's got what? Which we can get the radius from. Diameter, all right? So circumference, 20 pi. You guys are trying to solve for the diameter. What's gonna happen here on both sides? Boom, 25, what's gonna happen on both sides? Yep, so the diameter is going to end up being 20. Not plugging 20 in because that would mean the diameter is 20 and not the radius of 10. That's what I'm going to be plugging in for the radius. And can we just, I know there's no rounding direction, so we usually go Regis mode, write it all out, but we let's just leave it in terms of pi. Just leave it in terms of pi for me. And I just plugged in 20 when I just said definitely not to. You got one job. I'm getting all jacked again because I know what that this last problem for the day is going to be. And what do you got for me in terms of pi? Here you go. Oh, not here today anymore. Five.
Guys, got any questions there? Surface area of a sphere before we go to the volume. All right, I'm not, you can look this one up. This one's on your formula sheet. Okay, surface area is not. That's one you're responsible for, but volume is. And what do you have? Four thirds pi r. Ooh, cubed. Good thing that's given to us. That's a tough one to remember. When you guys had on Friday one-third BH, and I think I suggested in the video, and I'm going to suggest it now, now you have four-thirds. Use your darn fraction template, please. All right, use the darn fraction template for four-thirds. All right, find the volume of each sphere in terms of pi, and then round your answer to the nearest tenth. So we got two parts here. So let's go in terms of pi first. Radius for this sphere. Here you go, 15 radius for this sphere. Again, try to use your fraction template. Leave it in terms of pi. Drop the pi down, multiply everything else. So here we go. I have 4 thirds times 40 cubed. So 256,000 over 3 pi. Did I type that in right? What's your deal? Yeah, I know. I'm going to put in my answer. It's in terms of pi there, Frank. Come on. And that is centimeters cubed now, centimeters cubed. If you guys left it as 85,333 and a third pi, that's fine too. All right, now turn it into the nearest tenth. Go ahead. Now, here you go, Frank. Now you can put your pi in. Okay, so now multiply by pi and round to the nearest tenth. Look at that large number. 268,082.6 centimeters cubed. All right, about a minute right now to do the second one. I'll just ask somebody what they plugged in in their final answer. Well, what are you plugging in for radius? In terms of pi? And round it to the nearest tenth, I'm not going to ask anybody. 14.1 centimeters cubed. Anything here, volume or surface area? Because now we're going to get nuts. Anything? We not get 14.1? Is that the issue? Can't type it in the calculator, Matt? What, did I get, did I, should I have got something different? 4.5 times pi, right in the calc. Okay, one job. That's what I thought. All right, are everyone all set? Because we're going to get nuts now. Here we go. Volume, 36 pi inches cubed. Find the surface area. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, let's go back. Surface area formula. 4 pi r squared. This is why I asked you at the beginning of class. What's the only value you guys need? Radius. Can I get that from the volume? 
All right, let's talk. Can I get that from the volume? So I'm going to go over here. Volume was 4 thirds pi r cubed. Volume, 36 pi. You guys said you need the radius to solve for surface area. Help me solve for the radius now. There's a lot of algebra going on. One step at a time. Can you help me find the radius? Uh, all right, what's on both sides here? We can just cancel out now. 19, what's on both sides here? Pi, so I'm just going to cancel them out now. 36 equals 4 thirds r cubed. Guys, get excited. There's going to be a new button on the calculator in a second. Uh, five, how do you want to get rid of that 4 thirds? All right, I like it. I'll multiply both sides by 3 over 4. And you guys, 3 fourths times 36, we end up with 27 equals r cubed. Ooh, whew. well, if it was r squared, you guys would take the square root, but it's r cubed, so we're not going to take the square root. We're going to take what's called the cube root. Have you ever done that before last year at all? No? Oh, you did. Now I'm just devastated because it's just stealing my fire. I thought this was going to be something brand new, newer to go on the calculator. How do I take the cube root? All right, well, you go ahead. If you've seen this before, how do I take the cube root in my calculator? Oh, not so many hands now, huh? Go ahead, Madeline. Go under math, everyone. Go under math, left-hand side of your calculator. Math button under alpha. Everyone see a cube root, choice four. We see that choice four, that's how you take the cube root of any number. And the number in this case, we're taking the cube root of 27. So the cube root here, three. So the radius is equal to three. Now I'll come back over here, plug it into my surface area. And let's just leave it in terms of pi. Four pi times three squared. In terms of pi, the surface area, 36 pi. Now don't get all crazy. Oh my God, the surface and the area and the volume are always the same. Uh, no, they're not. These are not the same. Anybody know why these are not the same values? One is inches squared. The other is inches cubed. Totally different measurements here, even though they're both inches and that's not always gonna be the case. That surface area and volume come out to be the same number. All right, questions? All right, uh, same thing here. The only thing that's gonna be different, you don't have to find the surface area, I just want the radius, and I don't know if anybody notices the other difference here, what's not gonna automatically cancel out on both sides here? Yeah, there's no pi here in the volume. It's just 4,200. So 4 thirds pi r cubed again. The pi's will not cancel each other out now, so I need to do something with it eventually. It's up to you guys, what you guys want to do first. You can get rid of the four thirds or you can get rid of the pi first. It's up to you. I do have a preference, but I'll ask you guys. 25, what do you want to do first? Yeah, me too. How, what's your, how do you want to do it? Okay, we can divide both sides by four thirds. Keep it in the fraction template, everybody. Or multiply by three fourths like we did in the last problem. Either way is going to get us there. So we have pi r cubed. We do get a whole number for that one, correct? 3150, 3150. Matt, is that correct or is that wrong too? That's what I thought. Now go ahead, get rid of the pi. Divide both sides by pi. What are we not doing at this point in the problem? Rounding. You are not rounding a darn thing. We're not done yet. R cubed equals 1002 with some change after it, 6761. Keep that number right in your calculator. Cube root the sucker. 
And there are rounding directions round to the nearest tenth. And what are we looking for nearest tenth here? Fifteen. What are we finding? Radius. So what should think about it? What should my units be? I'm not finding volume. I'm not finding just feet. Yep. Just feet. All right. Not cubed or square. Just feet. Questions from you guys. Okay. You think you're on your math game right now? Everyone got enough time to wake up, warm up here, first period. All right. Because I'm going to start challenging you with this last question. What if I take half a sphere? We actually got a name for it. It's called a hemisphere, okay? It's called a hemisphere. Find the volume. I have find surface area and volume. I wanna do volume first with you. Find the volume of this hemisphere. So we know full sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed. What are we gonna to have to do with this volume if I'm gonna find the hemisphere? Divide by two, multiply it by a half, right? No big deal. All right, so let's do that first before we go to surface area. So times a half divided by two, whatever you want. All right, so the volume, four thirds pi, what are you guys plugging in for radius? 19, 14 cubed times that half. Nearest tenth, what do you got for me? 19 again. You got 14 cubed, right? Yeah. Times pi, times 4 thirds, times a half. Everyone else getting 500? One job, Maya. Come on, finish this strong. Make sure you can get that in your calculator. All right, make sure you can get that in your calculator, not just uh, from your partner. Hope some of you guys aren't going ahead here. You ready for surface area? Now most of you have, hey, surface area. Four pi r squared. And I'm just gonna cut that in half because it's a hemisphere. All right, math kids, whizzes, honors, whatever you'd like to call yourselves, that is not correct. Well, let me put it this way. It's partially correct. Partially correct. Let's discuss why. And I don't wanna give it away. Think about the definition of what surface area is and why that is only partially correct. Anybody got an idea of why that's only partially correct when we think about the concept of surface area? Why, Luke? Okay, let's talk here. Guys, this right now is the top of the hemisphere. Think about the top of the, think about one of those shaky globes. I know it's not really a hemisphere, but. The top, that's the only part we're talking about. What are we missing? Flip it up. We're missing the bottom, the area of the bottom. What's the shape of the bottom? Shape of the bottom is a circle. So what do I still need to add on to this surface area of a hemisphere? What's the area of the circle on the bottom? Pi r squared, okay? Again, 
I, I'm, I'll do the best here, but this right now, that's the red part I put up here. That's the area of this circle. And the four pi r squared divided by two, that's this part right here. And remember, surface area is everything on the outside, so I needed to count that bottom circle. All right. Are we okay with that, with the he surface area of a hemisphere? We don't have to worry about it with volume, but surface area we do because it's everything on the outside. So 4 pi. If you guys, hey, since you guys are in honors, we can talk about it. If you wanted to reduce this, what's this reduced down to before you plug anything in? 2 pi r squared plus pi r squared. If you wanted to think about surface area of a hemisphere, 3 pi r squared, yeah. If you wanted to simplify it before you plugged it in. So 4 pi r squared times that 14 over radius, all over 2, plus 14 pi times 14 squared. <sighs> 22. How about a nearest tenth when you're ready? Point three, good, feet squared, because we are in surface area. Are we okay with that hemisphere surface area concept? Everything on the outside, so you do have to include the circle. Again, please make sure you have your headphones and Chromebooks tomorrow in class.